Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Sage video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unallocate transactions. So transactions that are allocated against each other, I will show you how to unallocate those transactions. It could be a payment, say, from a customer or a payment we made to a supplier. We need to unallocate those payments against invoices. It's very straightforward, very simple to do. So let's go to customers. Let's do A1 designs and let's say we're going to record a customer receipt for a payment. So let's do today's day, the 3rd of February 2023. Let's say the payment was for all these invoices here totaling £73,000 euros or dollars. I can save that. So we have that payment on sage now that balance has come down if we go to the activity we can see our sales receipt here transaction 1347 sales receipt 3rd of february and down the bottom box we can see all the invoices that this payment has been allocated against if we want to now undo that allocation let's say it's wrong and it needs to be done again or there's a historical payment such as a credit note or another sales receipt that needs unallocating, you simply just go to the transaction you want to unallocate and use unallocate transaction here. If this option is not showing, what you can do is make a note of the transaction number, go to transactions, find the transaction here, so 1347, and the unallocate should show at the top here. So it doesn't show in the customer record or supply record you can come to transactions and unallocate in the transaction module. So let's go to customers, go to the activity on their account. So we want to unallocate this £73,000. This won't edit the transaction, it won't delete the transaction, it will just unallocate it against the invoices that it's been allocated against. So unallocate, confirm. Okay, so now this 73000 is outstanding and all those invoices will be outstanding again because they're not allocated against the payment. So here we go, they're all outstanding again and down the bottom we have our payment, our sales receipt as outstanding. So we can now allocate that against the invoices that it should have been allocated against and then click save. Hopefully this has helped. If so, please like, please subscribe, please check out more of my videos. I have tons of free videos. I can teach you everything and anything about Sage for free. No registration required.